day coincided with two little incidences. So I left three links. One on the Constantinople Fine and two on Henrietta Lacks gene um, chromosome. I'll speak about them real quick. And uh, before I do, I'm going to say this. I have no reason to sit up here, lie, pretend. I do not want anybody to think that I'm getting a kick out of doing this online thing because technically, I do not do online. I just jump on here. It's linked to a Twitter account and a Facebook account. I don't ask for money. And half, and to be honest with you, if I had another choice of letting people know about God, I would do it. If I had something that, that, that did not pertain to God, other than this, I would be doing it. If it wasn't for God putting me on this path and letting me know that I had a choice, trust and believe me, I would not be sitting up here because half of the things I don't like talking about or discussing. And then I do not discuss elect things because it's not meant for you too because you never know who's watching. All right. Second of all, I'm doing this because somebody earlier had left me some messages calling me Balaam and all this other stuff. I represent a well-roundness, not an angle in the one true path, all right, to righteousness and the eternal light. That's it. And I do it for all races, nations, and tongues. What you want to believe and how you want to believe is your issue. I can only give you the truth. If you can't find discernment and this is not catching you, that means that technically it was not meant for you. The choice and decision has already been made. So go ahead and go to the left with it. You should be able to find discernment because anybody who talks about the stars, the Quay Bazaars, and Nibiru, and, and all this other mystical stuff to add adventure and excitement and science fiction to the Word of God when it tells you right in the Word about believing in that stuff, all right, is not of the Word of God. I talk about leaving who you are, which is why I'm going to get into this Constantinople and the Henrietta Lacks thing to find a new, not your own understanding, but God's own understanding because of the fact that there are certain races and nations that may not know anything about their past, but guess what? They were a part of the Egyptian thing. They were part of the Canaanites and all the atrocities and what they did. They think that wearing the Hazma hand is good luck for warding off evil. That's satanic. They actually think the good luck, bad thing, bad luck thing have all these traditions and to them it's just logic. They're more caught up with the scientific part instead of using it spiritually for the word to add things up. They'll go all the way to the left with it. They just think that logic and everything has to have an answer to it when if it doesn't have an answer to it spiritually, it's not of God. And a lot of people won't leave that. Oh, this is the good one. Oh, he's black. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I have a lot of Caucasian friends and I'm being dead serious. I'll even tell them to their face. It really amazes me how someone of another race or or color especially a lot of caucasians and asians they can read science fiction books and especially my my, my especially my my family out in england they're infamous for the harry potter books they'll sit down harry potter book will come out book is this thick they start at three o'clock and they done by five o'clock british people are good for it because they're readers and that, now that's real talk. I don't care. I never met one person, British person, that can't knock a whole book out within a couple of hours. They're very adamant readers because of how a lot of them were the ones that I know, how they're raised. So if you can do all that reading for school to find out what you want to do for science fiction, you can't read the Bible and it tells you. It's supposed to add everything up. And if somebody is smart enough to do an accounting job, teach in theology, teach history, teach daggone social studies, teach anything out there, or work in any kind of high position, finance, anything, and you trying to tell me you can't pick up that book and add one and one together of history back in the Egypt, all right, with yoke, with chains of yoke around their neck. Where are the two Egypts? They got an obelisk in downtown London and one in Central Park, New York City. They split them in two. Carnegie and them did that back in the days. Who was Carnegie and all of them? They were all from the Midwest in the Ohio region where they found all of the giants, 
All of the big skeleton bones and a lot of the other stuff, the serpent mounds and all that stuff is buried there. Who was Benjamin Franklin and all them? Well, Benjamin Franklin, when they found all those bodies in the basement in London, they started doing more research into who in the heck he was and his DNA, and they traced him all the way back to the Canaanites. Hmm. The reason why I'm bringing up the Henrietta Lacks thing is because I was on 14th Street in Manhattan today in Union Square having a lovely conversation with a young lady who was Caucasian and a young gentleman who was Asian and we were all having a decent, non-racial, very loving and understanding conversation and they wanted to know what I knew because they didn't know and I let them know about the Henrietta Lacks gene which are in the links below how that gene cured, cured polio and since she came from the slave ships and, and was a slave back then and in whole nine yards these are the people these are the dna's that they care a lot of people don't know that a lot of medicines and cures and vaccines came from only only white people and stuff like that was catching polio really really bad it got cured because of this gene it even states if I put one of the in that article that I put in there, if I'm correct, that the one side was what Russia did a, the test on it. They seen a human lineage and they seen like an animal virus. So they asked what was it? And they said, Oh, she had, you know, Caucasian in her because of the rate the she or her ancestor or, or family before, something like that to that um um notes um were, were raped or something like that. So she had it in her, and that was the the animal virus that Russia had detected. Blacks don't carry a Neanderthal gene. All right? And if you read the book of Jasher, it says so. It does not make a difference who you are, but if you do find out or you know who you are, you get reborn, renewed, and you rebirth into the Lord thy God. And it does not make everybody bad, because remember, there's no angle as well around it. You got more blacks committing atrocities just the same as whites and Chinese and Indian people and everybody else in the world. That's all misplaced, acting wild, and just lost. So I wanted to put the Henrietta Lacks in there so people can get detailed on what's going on and start finding some spiritual discernment in their daggone life. Know who these people are. Know what you have to do for yourself in the world to be as a righteous righteousness and believe. I put the Constantinople um, link in there because they just found 1,600 years old, old ship of Constantinople. Guess what was in it? And this should be your eye opener right here. Because he was the one who said they seen the cross. It was Christianity and all this other stuff. And, and he started Christianity and he pushed it. And the, and the scripture said the Lord was going to give you the fulfillment of the word. So that way you can come into the riches. But don't forget to share those material things. Do these people right. And be as a righteous. Follow all these laws. Love thy God with all your heart. And love thy neighbor. And treat everybody with, with all your heart. Because loving never hurt anybody. And treat everybody equally. Scripture say it. But it seems like the Romans used it for political and economical gain, just like the Grecians did everything. Nobody's seeing this. So what was found? A lamp with the soul sun god that the Romans worshipped. Statues with the moon goddess. And all of those moon goddesses look just like Statue of Liberty. But nobody's seeing it. This done carried over. It's not about what you think it is. It's about what it means spiritually. And then they had a lamp. And on that lamp was, a, was an African slave. On that lamp. For that time. On the head of the lamp. So what does that tell you? You don't do anything like that unless those were the people. Unless you represented the evil that came out of Egypt. And that was the people you kept in slavery that were of the Hebrew and Israelite nation. When they were doing all the barter and trade and the bond women and bond men on the dag on stock market, they used to sell them up and have the little posters and they used to call them Hebrews. Not Hebrews, Hebrews. 
But see, they won't tell you these histories. So find a discernment spiritually and understand that what is isn't and what isn't actually is. And I'm not here to try to debate on who I am, have to prove who I am for someone to have faith in the word that I got. Because if you can't have enough faith in what I'm telling you and to walk in the path of righteousness, that's your fault. Because there's an advantage and a disadvantage to everything. There's advantage because, okay, yeah, it's a blessing to be God's people. All right, I'm blessed. But guess what? I had a job to do. You think that I like doing this? You think I like being online? God gave me a choice. He brought me into the fulfillment of this, gave me the wisdom and knowledge, and told me to go do it or else. So I have no choice. I have a choice. But and, and I'm going to take this choice and enjoy it while I'm doing it and not complain about it. Because it's not for me to sit up here and suck my teeth. I wrestle with God a lot of times for things that I either have to say or come out and teach. Because it's not no enjoyment. I don't ask for money. I don't sit down and ask for you to subscribe. I don't ask anybody to do anything. I come out here, I do it, and just hold faith that somebody will grasp this spiritually and then change their life around for the righteous means that they, it was meant to be, no matter what color or race you are. But we have a lot of races that are spoiled and the Caucasian races. So you got a lot of people that lose their job. They know how to act because they don't know how to handle the poor life because they're not willing to leave that behind. You have a lot of blacks that is trying to get up there and they're willing to do whatever it takes for a dollar in their pocket because they don't because they lost. It all breaks even somewhere along the line. The only way that somebody, that everybody is going to fall in line is to be well-rounded. Because every time you hit that circle, psh, you hit another issue. You hit another calamity. So check out the links. See what it's all about. Try to find some spiritual discernment. All right, I'm in here, and I don't have to debate. I didn't even have to come out and go down this road. But I did it. Why? Because I have something for seeing everybody make it into heaven. Not being one-sided, everybody.